Hi everybody, this is Dave Torno. I just want to give you a quick overview of the Heads and Tails script. Uh, if you have it as a dockable panel, uh, as stated in the user manual, it'll tell you exactly where to put that script. You can find it under the window menu here. And you scroll down, you'll see Heads and Tails. Click on that. And this will bring up the dockable palette, which you can just click and drag it around and choose, as you can see, where you want to uh, dock this. I'm going to put mine right here. Shrink this up a little bit and show you the interface here. Uh, this first box is heads, which is going to be related to the beginning of your timeline. This box is tails, which is going to relate to the end of your timeline. And the middle question mark here is our help menu. It's just kind of a brief overview of the script and a little note. There's also an option down here for your time format which you can, for your entry boxes here, you can have those either represented as frames or seconds. For this little tutorial, I'm going to show you frames. And what we'll first do is type in, we'll say we're going to add 10 frames to the head of this particular timeline. We'll say, let's do it. And you can see right here the 10. We've added 10 frames at just the beginning. And the end is still where it's at. We'll change this to zero and say we're going to add to the tail. And we go zoom out here. Now we've got 10 frames here and 10 frames there. Now one of the neat things you can do with this is you can also crop or subtract by putting a minus sign and typing in the appropriate number that you want to use. So we're going to crop down 10 frames here and 10 frames here, which should bring us back to our original comp, just like that. So this is uh, a handy little tool if you've obviously got a comp that has a ton of layers in it. Um, trying to move these around and all of you know, the head and tail uh, extensions is a little tricky sometimes. Um, you can do it normally through the uh, comp settings here, um, which allows you to change the duration, but it only extends the entire length and it all gets added to the end. It doesn't get added to the beginning of the timeline. So that's one reason why I built this script uh, is to help solve that. So now you can add to the beginning of your timeline. Um, one of the other little catches too is if you have any locked layers in your timeline at all. After Effects does not allow scripting access to locked layers to move them, trim them, whatnot. So I put in a little error catch here. Let me change this back. We're gonna try to add oops try to add back to the beginning of the timeline 10 frames. And since we have two layers locked here, click on that, it's gonna bring up a warning saying that there's locked layers. So I put in there the option to either say yes to continue and it'll automatically unlock those layers and then do the addition. Or if you say no, it'll just stop the script completely as is and won't do anything. So if we say yes, there we go. We added our 10 frames and you'll notice obviously those two layers got unlocked and we still have the same tail on that. So that is heads and tails. Turn that back up. Uh, if you put the script also, according to the user manual, uh, if you put that in the scripts folder instead of the script UI panels folder, then you can find the script over here under file, scripts, and then heads and tails. And this will give you a floating window version of the exact same script. So you'll have the same options for frames and seconds. And you can put the script just like I did under both the script UI panels uh, folder and the script folder, so you have both options just in case if you have any preferences. So, hope that helps you out.